Horror pics show civilians running for lives as Russian artillery blows up family while ceasefire broken again by Putin. Horror pictures show the moment a column of refugees came under attack by Russian artillery barrage in Ukraine. At least eight people were killed when the mortar fire came raining down while men, women and children attempted to flee from Irpin near Kyiv. Suitcases and a green pet carrier lay strewn as a Ukrainian soldier walks past a body of a civilian killed in the bombardment by Russia credit, Getty. Running with a child in his arms, this man makes a desperate bid to escape urban credit, Reuters. Smoke rises as a mum and daughter flee for their lives as the Ukrainian defenders prepare for battle credit, Reuters. Civilians duck for cover as the shells rain down across the city just 15 miles from Kyiv credit, Reuters. Dozens of people were left running for their lives in the assault on the city which has already come under heavy bombardment from Russia. And this latest attack on civilians comes as Russia again broke a ceasefire agreement for the second time in two days in Mariupol. The UK's Ministry of Defense confirmed that Putin's forces had promised to let people escape, but once again Russian shelling resumed before refugees can leave. Officials said this afternoon, for the second day in a row, a ceasefire agreement to enable the evacuation of civilians from Mariupol failed. The ceasefire was scheduled between 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. local time, but the agreement was violated within hours of its planned implementation. In some of the most harrowing images of the conflict so far, a whole family were hit as a shell fell in the middle of the evacuee route in Urban. It is understood the mom, teenage son and little daughter, who is around eight, were killed in the strike. Pictures in the aftermath show bodies draped under sheets with their precious suitcases alongside of them. And other pictures, which The Sun Online has chosen not to publish, show four bodies sprawled on the roadside as two soldiers tend to them. Around them are strewn their bags, and a green carrier which appears to be containing their pet dog, who was barking after the strike. The pet carrier and the remains of the people's belongings are later seen piled up next to the roadside as their bodies lie still beneath the covers. It is the latest atrocity committed by Vladimir Putin in his senseless, horrific and bloody war on Ukraine. Other images show fires burning as terrified civilians duck for cover with what few belongings could carry in shopping bags and suitcases. Urpin, which is around 15 miles from the center of Kyiv, has been besieged by the Russians since Friday. Putin's army continues its grinding advance towards the capital, which remains Putin's main objective. Two weeks ago these people would have had normal lives, and now they have been forced to leave their homes and flee. Russia yesterday breached their own ceasefire agreement within hours of it being rolled out, leaving 200,000 people trapped in Mariupol. Video also showed rocket launchers firing in Paramoha some 40 miles from the capital, and they appeared to be firing towards Kyiv. Rocket launchers firing near Paramoha some 40 miles from the capital appearing to be firing towards Kyiv. And one video shows the moment a shell falls just a few feet away from a militiaman, sending civilians fleeing for lives. Pictures from the aftermath show Ukrainian soldiers tending to the wounded with two people lying on the ground surrounded by their suitcases and a pet carrier. The shelling of Irpin is just the latest outrage committed by Russia in a war which has been received international condemnation. It comes as Russian bombings of Kyiv and its surrounding towns intensify after they failed to capture to the capital in last week's shock invasion. People fleeing from Irpin and Buka said their resolve to stay broke when Russian warplanes started circling overhead and dropping bombs on Friday. A man walks through Urban as a nearby house burns credit, Reuters. Two soldiers help a woman after the shelling attack near the church credit, AP. Refugees and journalists run for their lives amid the shelling by the Russians credit, Getty. Two people attempt to flee the horrors of Putin's war on Ukraine credit, Reuters. Local residents look for cover as they escape from the town of Urban credit, Reuters. The 58-year-old was one of thousands of people walking with their children and whatever belongings they could carry down a road leading towards central Kyiv and away from the front. People have been trying to get to the remains of a bridge leading to Kyiv over the Urpin River which Ukrainian forces blew up last week to stall the Russian advance. Russian warplanes have struck and killed dozens in the central town of Chernihiv and the eastern city of Kharkiv in the past week. Urpin residents hid under a destroyed bridge to avoid Russian airstrikes. Ukrainian soldiers built makeshift bridges to help residents flee the capital. 
Russian bombardments has made living in the capital impossible credit, AP, Associated Press. Most have arrived in Poland and other neighboring European Union countries, with the bloc granting people fleeing Ukraine temporary protection and residency permits. People cross on an improvised path under a bridge that was destroyed by a Russian airstrike in Irpin Credit, AP. The UN expects the number of Ukrainian refugees to swell to around 4 million credit, AP. Meanwhile, as the onslaught continues Ukraine claims that Russia has lost 11,000 troops and more than 2,000 army vehicles. It comes as Britain's chief of the defense staff said Russia had got itself into a mess over the invasion of Ukraine. We do know that some of the lead elements of Russian forces have been decimated by the Ukrainian response, he said. But Sir Tony warned Russia could ramp up its aggressive tactics as forces continue to stall in the battlefield. I think there is a real risk because Russia is struggling with its objectives on the ground in Ukraine, and we've seen from Russia's previous actions in Syria and in Chechnya, where it will turn up the violence, it will lead to more indiscriminate killing and more indiscriminate destruction, he said.